Hello everyone, so today I will show you how to download and install R software. So I'm in Google and I will just Google for R download. And here I get this one, R 3.5.1 for Windows. I will go here. So the link is also here, you see cran.r project being Windows base. So here I'll just go, the, this is the latest version, always the latest latest version comes up in the top so I'll just go here our windows and the download starts here so after it will be downloaded I'll just open it and install it so I'm done with the installation I'll just quickly show you how it looks so when I run my R 3.5.1 So here you see it looks like this R version 3.5.1 2018 version so it looks like this this is the R console so this is actually the main program and you can do all your computations here for example 2 plus 2 you see it will give 4 5 multiplied by 6 30 so all computation is basically done in the console but it doesn't really look nice and you do not really, I mean, to me, it's it's not really fancy, you know. So I, I would like to have a nicer view where I can manage what I'm doing, my data, my console, my codes. So for that, I would go, I would recommend you to go for R Studio. So you need both of them. First, you need to download and install this R console. And then now we will go for R Studio. So again, I'm in Google, so I'll just quickly Google for R Studio download. So, and I will go for the first one. So this is how it looks for R Studio, and this is the web link. Okay, so this is how it looks, and it's like from the very beginning, R was totally free, but now they offer different service to commercial users which are paid but you don't need a paid one you just need this this free version for for home and for a single person and it has everything so you don't have to worry about the paid versions so you can just install it and here are the versions the latest version for different um, like Mac you, Windows Ubuntu so you will, I'm using Windows so I'll just go for Windows 7 and it is installing here as you can see So after it is installed, you just click it and you open it and then you install following the procedures, simple procedures for a software installation. So now I will show you how it looks in RStudio. So here, in my case, I have the RStudio here. Maybe you might not have it here, then you can click uh, all programs and here you will find RStudio. And here you will have the R Studio. So you see both of them are installed R console and the R Studio. So this is the main program and this gives a nice interface. User interface, yeah. So I will open the R Studio. You don't have to keep both of them open, so I will just close it. Yeah, I haven't done anything much. So it's opening. So it's finally yeah this is how it looks when when you run the R Studio just after downloading normally it should look like this here you have the environment and in history you know whatever you will be doing it will be listed here in history and yeah then you have the files this is the directory where you are working where are your things are uh, getting stored then you you will see the plots when you will do some plotting here you will see the plots here here you can install and update packages yeah and help is this is very useful whenever you are stuck with a function or a command so you can come to help and check for it so and this is the console so the console we have seen just before you see it's here it looks much nicer here i think already than the basic console right you see again if we write like 2 multiplied by 2 for console gives you the result but the problem is with the console, whatever you will write, it will give you a result, then it's gone, right? 
but like you have done an done some analysis and you have submitted the paper to a journal and the reviewer gave you some revision and you have to change a little bit of analysis then can you do the whole thing again yeah of course you can do but you don't want to do that you want all the records listed so that you can just modify a little bit and you can run the course and you will get the results and for that you will need the script so you will go to file uh, new and then script so whatever you will write here it will be stored and you will get the results in the console like again if i go for two multiply by two you know it's a code written so you just click it and run you see four here then five let's say plus ten you, you don't yeah you don't get the results in the in the script you just get the codes there and results come in console and also the get the results get stored here in the in the environment so let's say yeah 20 minus 15 so you see all these results you will get here you can run one by one let's say 2 multiplied by 2 4 then 15 then 5 you see so the results come here so now this is the thing like if you want to change something if if so for example if you want to just make it to 10 you make it 10 and then you run it and you get all the results here so you get the idea right and you can actually make it bigger clicking here so that you get all of it as a whole and so you will often have a lot of course here so then you can just click here to make it yeah, smaller bigger so you have yeah you have a nicer view and as you see everything was getting stored here That's it for now. In in future videos, I will cover some basic functions and operations of R, how it works, how we can code. So from the starting to the beginning, uh, like I, I will cover beginning stuffs and more advanced stuffs. So thank you. If you find it useful, like, comment, share, and subscribe.